welcome back. St. James Episcopal Church in Richmond invites women of every faith to Womankind 2020, a two-day women's conference exploring themes of faith and roles of women in the church and broader society. Reverend Hilary Strever and artist Gloria Pravat, co-chair of the event, join us. We welcome them to Virginia this morning. It's great to see both of you here. Thank, Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for being Thank here. You. This is going to be a really fantastic event, a two-day conference. And I know you're very excited to see all of this come together. It's, it's very um, content rich. It's gonna be full of things for folks to enjoy. It is. Yes, since 2004, St. James's women have created this womankind event every other year. And it's just always filled with the most beautiful fellowship and worship. And we're inspired by our keynote speakers and our workshop leaders. It's just wonderful. When I hear that an event is done every other year, that really clues me into it's very, it's very big, it's very dense, it's very rich, and it takes a long time to put together, right? To do it right. Yes, it does. You're inviting everyone this year. How did you come to the theme of fearless women of faith? Wonderful question. We just looked around our culture and listened to the Holy Spirit. And we, you know, fear is nothing new to anyone. And women have particular fears just by being women. Um, and we looked around our culture and our, the times that we're in and we really felt it was an appropriate response to where we are right now. So we've welcomed Lisa Sharon Harper as our keynote speaker. She's the author of The Very Good Gospel. And we have a wonderful preacher from Virginia Theological Seminary, uh, the Reverend Dr. Judy Fentress Williams, who is a scholar of Old Testament, in particular Ruth and Judith. And they, are, they will be speaking about God's vision for the world and how we can stand on that firmness of God's rock as we hold fast to, that's where our fearlessness comes from, mm -hmm. from that vision. Mm -hmm. And yes. Exploring so. all of that exactly. in, in this two-day conference. Mm -hmm. Gloria, you are co-chair of the art exhibition. This is uh, debuting. There's a free um, opportunity for folks to come and see this on Thursday. And let's paint the picture, sorry, pun intended, <laughs> of, of what this exhibition is all about. Uh, this is the first time that Womankind has had an art exhibit that expresses the theme, and the theme of the art show is Fearless Women of Faith. And we had so many regional artists submit work to this juried um, show, and they interpreted that theme in so many dif different ways. The work is beautiful, it's bold, it's thought-provoking, mm -hmm. and I think it will start conversations. Um, we have landscapes and portraits and abstracts, um, photography, and it's a beautiful show, and we, are, we have planned a, we've been working on it for months, and Thursday night, uh, tomorrow evening, it comes to fruition with a beautiful exhibit and um, reception, and we hope you and your viewers will join us it's going to be great. It's a juried art exhibition too, and then featuring regional artists. You have over 80 pieces. We have nearly three we gorgeous three. examples yes, in do. the studio with us today. Yes, These do. are beautiful, and you know, each in and of themselves, incredibly powerful. I'm, I'm thinking all three different artists, right? And this is just a, a tiny tip of the iceberg of the it representation. Is. It is. Um, the first painting um, on the far left is titled Journey to Redemption. The artist is Robert Young, mm -hmm. a Richmond-based artist. And his portrait is of a woman who has encountered many hurdles in life, as depicted in that border above. She has fallen, she has stumbled, she's risen again. And he shows her at the, as she has gone through this, um, this passage in her life and she is sitting holding the book that coached her through that journey 
So, good book. So much the good book. So much meaning and and represent yes. you know symbolism in each of these and really exploring a journey for each of these women. We have about thirty seconds okay. left. This conference also supports an incredible community project going forward too. So being part of it not only benefits the women who elect to attend, but you're benefiting the community. Yes. Yes, Woman Kindness is the name of our outreach project. We have one every womankind. This year, our efforts go towards the new healing place um, by Her by Caritas, and so we have something that looks like a an Amazon gift registry, and people can just go online to our gift registry, whether they attend womankind or not, and purchase housewarming gifts. Everything from shower curtains to pillows. We hope to fill seven apartments, and um, and we're just really blessed by. By, uh, CEO Karen Stanley is on our board for Womankind. So we've been very blessed. An incredible collaboration, and thank you for all that you're doing. It's going to be fantastic. Thanks for being Appreciate with us it. today. Thank, thank you. you for having thank us. You. We're going to share some information. St. James's Episcopal Church presents Womankind 2020 with the theme Fearless Women of Fate. The opening art exhibition reception is tomorrow, March 5th. It's already on Thursday. From 6 to 8 p.m. at the Michaud House, located directly across the street from the church, 1133 West Franklin Street, right here in Richmond. The two-day conference is March 20th and March 21st. For all the information on the event or the conference, we'll have a link on our website later this afternoon, wtbr.com slash VTM. We're about to turn the studio into a runway. It went from a juried exhibition into a runway. Janie Medley of